guys, it's your girl Careless Morgan, and today I'm doing a Easter makeup tutorial. It's gonna be cute, it's gonna be glowy, it's gonna be pastel, I believe. And I'm super excited because I love Easter. Easter is so much fun, so let's get right to it. If you're not subscribed, subscribe to my channel. Give this video a big fat ass thumbs up, and and, 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 I'm not playing with you. Go follow me on Instagram at Careless Morgan. Say YouTube sent you. I want to see where y'all are finding me. So, go follow me. Go like this video. Everything and above. And let's start looking at these nails before I start touching my face. <laughs> okay? Okay, so my pinky fell off. It is what it is. I hurt myself at a theme park. But these are my birthday nails. Focus, focus. Except that pinky. And, yeah. I love them, so boom, boom, boom. I feel like the only way to get ready for Easter is to play some Christian godly music. Shout to God, we love Jesus, Jesus. Strength will be weakened. He that's fine you can wear this makeup tutorial anywhere else da, 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 da. I don't judge people who aren't religious it's up to you what you want to do in your life so do what you want and let's get started I'm such in a mood today like wobble wobble let your body waddle don't act like a soft model you hit the lotto uh 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 why am I saying Eminem <laughs> okay Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is use this primer this is the Too Faced Hangover Coconut water, skin, silicone free, blah, 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 proactive nourishing primer. And it is really good, especially for where I live. I've said it a hundred times. I live in the FL, Florida, I live in Orlando. So I need this moisture. Tis a beautiful moisturizing primer. Okay, so I thought I would use a drugstore foundation today. This is my first time testing out the L'Oreal Infallible up to 24 hour fresh wear. I think this is my first time. I don't know. I've never really touched this bottle. But it looks like I have. <laughs> I was just watching it. Don't get it twisted. But I don't think I've done a review on this um, foundation. So let's see if it's good. Because if it's not, I'll have to pop off on you L'Oreal. For real. Okay, so I recently did an article with Bitches Magazine. It's called Bitches, but I say Bitches because I always feel like I say it wrong. But um, I did an article on beauty products you really don't need that are useless. And I say a foundation brush is pretty useless, just for my personal preference. Um, I love a beauty blender, but I will say that the only thing that I use a foundation brush for is just to spread my makeup. It's not to actually blend it because it does leave... In my opinion, streaks. I've just never been a crazy fan about, um, freaking foundation brushes. Okay. God damn, that shit wouldn't come out of my mouth. Like, damn, come out. Um, and it helps me spread down to my neck. I feel better than a beauty blender. It's a little faster this way. And I got a whole lot of double chin. And I'm not roasting myself, I'm just saying, you know what, I'm so blind. Let me tell y'all something, I'm getting LASIK done Thursday, which today is Tuesday, April 9th. Tuesday, April 9th. So I'm getting LASIK the 11th, and I will be able to see so much better. And I'm thinking I'm blind, but it's with this dirty ass mirror. So let's fix that. Okay, I don't know if it's me, but this foundation is giving me anxiety. It's, like, terrible. Ew. Ew. This foundation is terrible. Can you see? Ew, is it my skin? Is it me? Let's see. Let's go with the beauty blender because this shit is disgusting. And it's grossing me out. But anyways, I'm getting LASIK. And, like, right now, like, I don't have LASIK. I have glasses right now. 
um, I can't see my viewfinder. Like, I can see it, but I can't see it. So I don't know if I'm in focus all the time because I'm not focused. <laughs> so, this is a big deal to me and LASIK Plus in Orlando. They have like 50 locations because, oh my god, this will help me so much with my YouTube videos and just in my life in general. And, yeah. I love it. Okay, it's looking better with the Beauty Blender, but it's still a trash foundation, just saying. Maybe some concealer will help us with our life and get it together because this shit is not cute. Okay, so is there a hair on my lip? Because that's not cute either. I'm taking the Tarte Tape Shape. And then I'm taking my Milk Concealer, which... I love the Milk Makeup Concealer. I feel like it's so creamy and I mix it because it's so much easier to blend than the Tarte one is. So this is my little beauty hack. I'm sure a lot of you guys do this, so I didn't make this up. But the Tarte Tape Shape Concealer is very thick and very hard to blend out. So I take the coverage of the Tarte Concealer because it has amazing coverage, but the formula of the Milk concealer because it gives me the formula I want with the coverage I need. But um bum did I just end everyone's questions about concealer? Imagine I didn't do shit but you know it's cute thinking I did. Okay so the next thing I'm gonna do is take this flower by Beauty Bakery. This stuff is so cute and I'm going to bake underneath my eyes. Because I don't want no creases on Easter service, okay? Shit is not cute. I gotta impress for real. So, just bake all under your eye. Okay, so I did my eyebrows. I did them pretty, I feel like I did them pretty decent today. And I'm just going to take my Maybelline setting face powder and just set and face my skin my next thing I'm gonna do is get my bronzer I can get bronzer my contour palette I feel like bronzer and contour are the same things but I've been using hula bronzer for a while just as like a contour literally I feel like I don't really understand the difference between them but you know bronzing my face give myself a little color because I need it and you know I really love Easter I just feel like Easter is a really nice time you know I love studying with my grandparents I think that's the highlight like I remember every single Easter me and my cousin would stay the night at my grandparents house this is before I moved in with them. Then it was Easter every day. But it was just so fun. We wake up. But we wake up at like the 4 o'clock service. Or at 6 a.m. But, you know. 6 a.m.? Like, I couldn't do 6 a.m. Like, I was like, oh my god. I couldn't do it. It was such an early service. Okay, so for this Easter look, I feel like I really want to focus on blush. Because blush is pastel, it's cute, it's pretty. The one I'm going to use is pastel. So I just feel like it will really bring together this Easter vibe look. Okay, so let me get some blush. Okay, so I'm going to use two blushes. My Dandelion by Benefit. Love this. And my Bare Minerals Pink Me Up. I'm going to mix them and blush my face. And probably use it as like a contour too because... I'm trying to look real blushy these days. Okay. And just get in to the cheeks and then move your way up like so.
this may seem like a lot of blush, but I feel like it's not a lot in person. But, you know, get the blush up, up, and go like this, even though it probably doesn't do a difference. But I really like this blush, and I feel like it's just very, like, cute, calm, and simple for a church event or an Easter egg hunt, you know, you name it. So the next thing I'm gonna do is the same thing I just did with blush, but I'm gonna put it on my eyelid. So I'm not doing a crazy eye look. I don't know about you, but on Easter, I don't do crazy makeup because it's not that I care what people say in church, but I did not have time for people looking at me crazy for getting all glammed up in the morning. And let's be real, if you go to early, and let's be real, if you go to an early service on Easter, you don't, <laughs> You don't have time to do this early makeup. So just in my crease, I'm just putting that pink. I'm not doing nothing crazy. I'm taking the same shades and just doing a light pink. Now you won't look like you have pink eye, I swear. Okay, so this is going to finalize the eye look. It's the Cover FX Shimmer Veal in Celestial. It's a light pink, so it's going to go. So I'm just going to take a little of it and put it right in my inner corner. And I'm going to blend it out. But this right here, really, I'm talking really, really, really will brighten up your Easter look because it's not too much but it's also very pop at the same time now like I said we're going with pastel so the perfect palette is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Nicole Guerrero palette it has the nicest nicest highlighting shades ever so I'm going to take Kitty Cat and Forever Young and highlight. Very cute, very subtle, but you can also notice it, so don't worry. On my nose a little bit. This thing, what is this called? Teasum? My Cupid's bow? Some shit like that. Oh no, the freaking body. I don't know. And the next thing I'm going to do is take this lip liner by NYX in Sandstorm and line my lips. And then I'm going to take Birthday Suit by Kylie Cosmetics. Just put a little, because I'm not done with this concoction. And then I'm going to take Babe by Kylie Cosmetics. I can't even say her name. Kylie. Now take the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray, even though it's going to be a morning service or whatever you're doing for Easter, or going to barbecue, whatever the case is, you're going to want this to last all day. I love it. No joke. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. This is my Easter service makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys have a wonderful Easter. Like I said, if you do not celebrate Easter or you are not religious, don't worry. I don't judge. I don't mind. Literally, it's your life. Do whatever you want. I hope you guys have an amazing day, period. You can do this look not only for Easter, but for any other day. So, I love you guys, and thank you so much for watching my videos. You guys are the bomb. Subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed. Like this video, and go follow me on Instagram at Carolus Morgan. It means a lot. And I really, guys, hope you have, you know, the best day ever. Okay. Have a good one. Love ya. Boop, 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 boop. I'm so awkward when I end videos. I don't know what to say. You know what I mean? Okay, bye.